Yesterday, Lee Westwood secured his 44th worldwide win, his 25th European Tour win, and the first Rolex event of 2020 here at the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championships. Today, on Monday, the day after the tournament, we're taking on the golf course and seeing just how we can do. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Yeah, I, I watched you out there, it looked a struggle. I lost a lot of golf balls, I'm not going to lie. Great. Crowd going wild again. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of, first of all, I would love to welcome you to the channel. Second of all, guys, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button below. That way, you're not going to miss any of the daily golf related content that we bring to you guys every single day. In today's video, we are taking on Abu Dhabi Golf Club the Monday after. That's it. <laughs> Good team. Yeah, thanks guys for Westwood in your heart out. <laughs> In today's video, we are taking on Abu Dhabi Golf Club the Monday after the big event. And that's right, everything is still up. Guys, if you are ever lucky enough, bear with me, we are walking through the players' tunnel so it may go dark for a second. But guys, if you are ever lucky enough to play a tournament-ready golf course the day after, the week after, the day before, how red is it in here, my God? In tournament condition, make sure you do it, guys. Do yourself a favour, do me a favour, make sure you say yes. But then what do you think you'd shoot? Guys, hit those comments below. What would you shoot on a tour-ready golf course the day after the event? That's right guys, you may have seen him on the video already. We are joined by none other than Rory. Hello. Rory, I was going to say your last name, but I never know if it's Anderson or Anderton. I always get it Anderson. wrong. Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. Hashtag seven? Yes, correct. Eight? Hashtag seven. Well, it is eight uh, officially, eight. but it's always hashtag seven. So guys, you may recognise Rory <laughs> from such videos as, that's like a Simpsons thing, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? From such videos as Your Golf Travel, as Mr. Mark Crossfield, and now we, we, we yeah, we're here, aren't we? Yeah. Collabing, collab I think they call it. Is it a collab? Is it not a collab? <laughs> Guys, comment below. Is this a collab? I've got no idea. Bring some... The structure of today's video may be a little bit different from other videos where I kind of show you every hole. Today I want to enjoy it. I want to play the golf course and see just how I can play, but I can't I can't play this golf course and not bring you at least the 18th hole, the first hole, and a few more in between. So this is exactly what we're going to do. We're playing a Texas... No, we're playing a Tour Shambles. Tor shambles. Basically, the worst you can make is a par. So, anyone asking my score, it's level par. You guys, I want to see just how I can play this golf course, potentially like the pros did, although they hit three wood off here yesterday, all of them, and I'm going to go drive a bit because it's um, bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James, I think you're ready for your tour card. I think I am. <laughs> that is perfection. Crowds are going wild. <laughs> Rory, far already, mate? Yeah. What time is it midday, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so, Rory, two yes. tee shots there in the water. No, sorry, I mean two tee shots in the fairway. Yeah. We're actually going to have a decision to make here on whose drive we take. I do think um, it'll be yours. Mm, I reckon. It could, I mean, I did absolutely nail it, guys, to be fair. But, but, it does narrow down there as well. Now, I've been lucky enough to play. I mean, I've been very, very lucky to play courses like Harbour Town, obviously Abu Dhabi before in this condition. Roy, what do you say to people who get a chance to play these golf courses? I'm looking for my balls, I'm speaking, and it could well be in the water. Well, I think the cool thing, uh, that's there on the right, I think. The cool thing about golf in comparison to other sports, so like if you're, let's say, a football fan, you can't exactly like rock up to Wembley for a kickback no. with your mates, but you can come and play courses like this. I never thought of it like that. So yeah. Yeah, you're not exactly going to pitch up to Wimbledon for a quick knockabout and a couple of sets of tennis, are you? No, man, need to go as well. It wouldn't be good for anyone. <laughs> we, as golfers, are very lucky to be able to follow the likes of Lee Westwood, who yeah. obviously won here yesterday and played. Bit of a plug there. Oh, you've not got your shirt on today, don't worry. No, I've, I've went for the... Uh... Speaking of shirts, so if people... You like how I've, you like how I've done that? <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of shirts, guys, if you would like this awesome number with Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship presented by EGA, <gasps> That was a mouthful, and it's a lovely Nike number as well. It's got a bit of a V on, well, an upside down V on the back, and also you can have the matching hat. That's very Brooks like. They are Nike Golf. Now, yeah. in a couple of weeks' time, I may not have been able to say that I'll do this giveaway. A little hint to something that may be coming as well. But, but if you do want these as a giveaway, the hat is a one size fits all, and the shirt is a medium, and it will be on my Instagram page there. But back to the golf, we seem to have 
a couple of balls in the fairway and I'm just down here. What about that for a drive? Sorry, what was that you said there, Rory? That's the third best drive. <laughs> Playing part of the as well. <laughs> How many people would have wanted this drive on Sunday? I mean, I'm, I'm not guaranteeing anything from here. <laughs> but A little more challenging than the tee shot, isn't it? Three wood to the heart of the Falcon. So we have 280 yards, so it's got to be, I mean, you've got to go from here, haven't you? So I'm going to go three wood. That's a lovely head cover. Roy, what's that head cover you've got in your bag there? That's... Oh, which one are we talking about the, here, James? It's the putter one, mate. That's, this one. Um, you see, now, if I didn't have this putter cover now, I'd be saying that you would be absolutely tanning me there in a what's mm. in the bag war, but... So yeah. I tell you. Oh. You're only allowed one of these if you've been to the Masters four times. Oh, right. How okay. many times have you been? I've been once, mate. A few more years and you can qualify for the head cover, James. <laughs> so I'm going to go three wood. But this is what everybody dreams about. You've hit the fairway on the 18th hole here at the Abu Dhabi Golf Club. Sunday, final round. Lee Westwood got it on, didn't he? Put it quite close. Yeah. It's a bit of a down slope, actually. I'm going to try and draw it into that back flag with a three wood. And we're going to need all of this. Oh, I get left. Just cutting a little bit. Left. I've nailed that and it's about 20 yards short, by the way. <laughs> Come on, Rory, you've got this. Hey, yeah, yeah. 280 off the deck. Right in my wheelhouse, that. I'll tell you what. I tell you what. Oh. I mean, it's 20 yards short again, but it was such a great effort. That buys the bunker, though. That could chase. I'm not going to lie, I struck that three wood very, very, very well. It leaked out to the right a little bit. I actually thought it was going to be a pin high bunker. It's not, it's just short of the bunker. So there's still a potential birdie there. I could, I could finish birdie birdie here, Rory. That would be nice for the it team. Would be score nice. as well. Would be very nice for the team. So, oh, been a team event. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, I mean, you've nailed one as well there. And this I is something which that, this yeah. is something which we've spoken about. A lot of people think that playing these golf courses is all about putting, it's all about holding putts. Like this one. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, you do have to put well, you have to hold putts, you have to have good distance control, but the fact that they hit it probably 10% further than us off the tee and with long woods and irons makes a huge difference. You mean, I pl I've played 18 with Lee in the past. So's, so's mate. Don't like to talk about so's that. Mate. But, um, <laughs> and we were kind of up with him. Yeah. Up with him, but then as soon as he needed it, he was 60 past us. And that's amazing, because I feel like I need it every time I stand for the golf ball. Yeah. Uh, we need to go over there, don't we? This is the walk that you want to be making. You want to be making this walk with the chance of a birdie, even a birdie birdie finish here at Abu Dhabi Golf Club. But obviously the guys who've been playing over the weekend, a lot of them have been hitting the green actually, so we're gonna have to see exactly where mine is. Guys, smash those comments below. What would you be scoring here? What would you be shooting? I'm focused, to be honest, my main focus point here is enjoying it. And I think that's something which a lot of people, if you do play golf socially, if you play golf as a hobby, but we don't focus on enough. But then again, it's nice to go birdie birdie, isn't it? So let's concentrate for a second. So we've got Rory just here. So he's not got too far in. I have actually sort of nearly kind of, if it was a front flag, put it, it's not pin high, but you know what I mean. So one thing here is just how penal the rough is. I mean, we've gotten away with that as a lie, as you can tell, but if it was there, I mean, just look how deep that is now. Wouldn't fancy that. Tried to lose the putter in the rough as well. Okay, we're gonna be quite aggressive here. I really want this birdie on the final hole. This is to take it to a playoff. Sit, 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 go in. Ah! Work left to be done. Quite enjoyed that. Now it's always funny when your cries of sit turn to cries of go and then turn to cries of go in and you're just basically crying at the golf ball. We've got about 15 foot for birdie. <sighs> Gotta say guys, it is so cool to be here. Downhill, you know what I'm thinking here? Probably the same as what you'd be thinking. Put three foot this quite easily. <laughs> yeah, they can get away from you, can't they? I just had a 50 footer up the hill and did not have to hit it that hard. Thanks mate. <laughs> And again, the crowds will go crazy. They're lining the stands. 
What do you reckon? Just left. Left side. Oh, he can't miss. Woo! Can't miss. <laughs> you, you take my putt for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that was good. Right, Rory, for par. Plenty of shots of this. What a player. What a player. <laughs> so guys, I'm not saying that birdie in the final two holes, I know you didn't see the full hole on 17, typically when the camera's not running, but I'm not saying that's the highlight of my golf career, but Rory, that's like the best thing I've ever done. And I'm also not saying that my reaction warrants that of birdieing the 18th hole, which is really our fifth hole, because it was a shotgun start in the media day the day after the big event, because Westwood sort of just put his hand up in the air, but by the way as well, how much will Ping have loved that he picked the ball out the hole with all the cameras running, with everyone watching, with the fetch putter and held it in the air. I bet they absolutely loved that as well. Now we're going to go down the first hole, because that's generally how it works from a shotgun start, and we might keep the camera running after that, we'll see. We'll see how we're playing. Squirrel, <laughs> and so first tee box now i feel like i have to just just get my levels down a little bit after the dramatic 18th hole that birdie we're gonna go if you haven't seen the first hole here at abu dhabi golf club basically there's water right which you don't want to go sorry rory you also don't want to go left because there's a big bunker so your line is pretty much over those bunkers there Wait, what was that do i want some what Absolutely! <laughs> oh, twisted my arm. So this is what everyone's been chasing this week, guys. They've done well to get this out of Westwood's room, Rory, haven't they, this early? <laughs> Can I hold that? No. Can't hold it? No, okay. I can pretend to hold it. Can you pretend to hold this camera while I pretend to hold the trophy? Yeah. Pretend? <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Security's like, oh! <laughs> I birdied the 18th, can I hold it? I did birdie the 18th. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, he's coming after me, go! <laughs> so, believe it or not, that's another fairway hit for James. I was thinking I was in that bunker, but actually... I don't hit it that far and I'm just not that good. Where was Westwood? Um, on Sunday, see where the collar kind of pinches in up there, level with the back end of this bunker. Yeah. So, so about 50, 50 yards 50 up. up yeah. 50, you could have said 20 mate on camera, it doesn't look that far. 60. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking? Yeah, 165, so oh. 160 from before. Yeah, so it's just another one of my drives, Rory, that's off. So. Yeah, I've got seven, but I'm not overly sure what you. Flags at the back, so you just don't want to go long, do you? So, guys, this is what we've got for Birdie on the First, it's going to be a good two putt park, so I have had that put before. But I'm not going to lie, I'm as surprised as you are. We're hitting fairways, we're hitting greens, we're generally putting quite well, although I'm loving this new putter, I must say. Oh, hell. That's one thing you don't have to worry about anywhere else in the world. Absolutely loving the new putter, especially on the fast greens. So I was contemplating asking this guy to film it from the TV tower, but I've seen that he's got to go up and down those ladders, so that's... Um... Yeah, we've already upset security, so we'll not upset the photographer as well. Rory's found himself another nice lie. Gorgeous lie, isn't it? What do you want, mate? I think I fancy you for this. 
Mm. <laughs> you haven't watched a lot of my videos, have you? Stop it. Oh. Now this is going to be fast, isn't it, down there? Yep. Imagine the swings of emotion. Birdie in the last one foot, three foot bogey on the third. <laughs> you know oh. we said this is a birdie opportunity? Yeah. No. No. It's a lot of movement and downhill towards the hole. This is going to be quick. That uphill then downhill? Yeah. This is for a hat trick of one putts. But, going to be honest, percentage of making on this one is going to be low. That looks good though. Not another one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I'm going to have to move my camera. <laughs> Should have had the flag out, that was it. <laughs> we joked about three putting, but we didn't mean it. <laughs> So guys, that is the 18th hole and the first hole here at Abu Dhabi Golf Club in tournament conditions. We navigated them in one under par, which um, I... Uh, can you believe that? No? Well, I've got video evidence of it. Yeah. <laughs> one thing I have to say is there is such an onus on hitting fairways on these golf courses. It obviously does help massively that I've hit two drives into the fairway. But the decent distance as well, we've knocked it past Rory twice, so he's not in here shot, but he'll watch this I'm sure, so he'll know. So I was just about to tell you guys about how fast the greens are, how good they are, how true they are, but you know that, you know they're going to be fast. Personally, I know that you can't go above the hole or you're left with a birdie opportunity like that. One thing I want to show you is the tented village. Just take a look at how quickly they rip all this down. The tournament finished last night at six o'clock. And just look at it now, it's basically all about to be gone. Long day for you, mate, isn't it? No? So me and Rory are now going to go and enjoy the golf course, the front nine. You will join us again on the ninth hole. Not just because it's inside of the clubhouse and the clubhouse looks ridiculous, but it's a long drive hole as well, so uh, long drive hole coming up. <laughs> oh, nice you to drive, mate. I didn't think you knew how. <laughs> <laughs> also, guys, make sure you look on Instagram, which is there for the cap and the shirt modelled by Rory there. I'll wash it before I give it no, to you. No, it's not this shirt. <laughs> Little disclaimer, there is a brand new shirt still in the wrapper and a brand new hat with the tags on, so there's, there's that. And that's straight down it. Yeah. Go in. Not a one, but it's a proper shot. That is such a good shot. Great shots. Crowd going wild again. <laughs> and so guys, here we are, the ninth hole. This is the longest drive hole today, so we're gonna take on gonna take on Rory in the long drive as well as the rest of the field. And then guys, we're gonna leave it there. What a fantastic day it's been. Obviously, we've showed you a couple of the highs, we've showed you a couple of the lows. That chip wasn't my, um, wasn't my best. But all in all, I've played relatively well today. In fact, you know, I've played really well, considering this is such a tough golf course. The rough is long, the greens are fast, and it's playing absolutely beautifully. It's held up so well to a week with the players. So Clinton and the team, you've done so well to get this event running and to get it on. The weather they had last week, this golf course was underwater practically, so it's, it's just done so well. And if you do want to see a video behind the scenes with the head greenkeeper, the superintendent, make sure you catch that because I'll link it somewhere in this video. But for now, long drive time, mate. Have you seen these? <laughs> Right, Rory, shall I go? I think, considering the amount of contributions we've had to the team so far, I'm probably your own attempt. Okay. But, uh, are, you even, are you even holding back on me today, or? Oh, mate, get ready. <laughs> <coughs> Ninth hole, Abu Dhabi National Falcon. This Falcons. is going Falcons. over the Falcon. Okay. So you're hitting this to Yaz Links, then? Yeah. Lovely. There. Mm. That's a nice ball right. fly. Mm. Six. Very 
going to say for the purposes of my oh, channel. Oh, it's missed the fairway. Not ready? I was about to say for the purposes of my channel, it doesn't have to hit the fairway because otherwise it's a bit okay. pointless. Okay, <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> I absolutely nailed that to yeah, be fair. That, was, that water on the right is staring me down. It's okay, mate, because with your ball flight, the first fairway is like over there. <laughs> So is that my longest drive? <laughs> Unless it's well, aquaplane. <laughs> I might swim into the middle of the lake and see how far it's gone, but um, yeah. Yeah, if you were 10 yards right of it, you're miles past it. So the longest drive's there. So guys, this is where we've finished. And um, just to get a little bit of complex on just how deep this rough is, um, yeah. But we have necessarily beat the longest drive if you probably didn't have to go on the fairway, mate. If only my rules were universal. <laughs> the world would be such a kind of place. <laughs> and so, guys, there is no better place to finish this week than the exact place we started with Clinton on this ninth green. It was a little bit darker then. The tournament hadn't taken place. Westwood hadn't won his 44th world title and 25th European Tour title but this is where we are going to finish guys thank you so much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed that i've just realized that i've walked all the way over here with just my putter and i actually need a sand wedge because that shot that was down the flag again has gone there guys do we put it or do we go back for the we should go back for the wedge shouldn't we really As after that abysmal chip, I guess there's only one thing left to say. Well, a couple of things actually. One, thank you so much for watching. I do really hope you've enjoyed that. I'm well aware of just how lucky I am to have this opportunity to play such a fantastic golf course at any time of the year, never mind the day after Lee Westwood wins his 44th world title here. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you stay tuned for the content coming from the Dubai Desert Classic. We're playing in the Pro-Am there the day after tomorrow, and hopefully I can play something like I played today. Because it's been, it's been all right. Apart from that, guys, I'll just really look forward to seeing you tomorrow. So, Rory, how do you feel like it's gone today, Abu Dhabi National? Well, you know, I gave it 110%, but my game, more realistically, was down towards 20% capacity, I would say. Yeah, I, I watched you out there. It looked a struggle. I lost a lot of golf balls, I'm not going to lie. Nowhere near my PB. I think I've lost 13 in an 18-hole course well before. So. How do you feel the sponsors will react to this? You know, I think the fact that all my golf balls have the Your Golf Travel logo on them, you know, always be marketing. There's plenty of people out there to pick it up and think, oh, yourgolftravel.com, so I'm just doing my bit for the company. Okay, we know you're busy, you're going to see your coach, so thank you for your time. No problem, cheers.